Anders, are you in need of help? I am right around the corner. Ready to help you. So Anders, we're meeting his friend here. He's trying to help his mage friend escape from the Templars, who apparently have him imprisoned. Similar stories everywhere. People who are... I saw Carl go inside a few minutes ago. Wanting to escape. No Templars so far. Are you ready? I didn't see anyone suspicious out here. Let's do this fast. All right. I'll handle the talking. You watch for Templars. Now he did say, if we fight, it'll be because they have prejudice against mages. It's not because we want to fight. When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. Oh, we're at the Chantry. Oh, we don't even have to select our party yet. Point the way, Hawk. We shouldn't talk here. What does my sister getting scratched have to do with you? When we find Carl, just let me talk to him. It's quiet at night. Chantry is quiet. Oh. You ready? Carl? Anders, I know you too well. I knew you would never give up. Whoa, that brand. What's wrong? Why are you talking like... I was too rebellious, like you. The Templars knew oh. I had to be... Made an example of. No! How else will mages ever master themselves? You'll understand, Anders. As soon as the Templars teach you to control yourself. He's been made tranquil. This is the apostate. No! Oh! You oh. will never take another mage as you took him! Whoa! What what the hell, Anders? What happened to you? Was that some kind of spirit possession? Oh god, he's not in my party. Alright. What okay. Tranquil, sure, but they even branded him. What the hell? Oh, maybe I shouldn't have brought Bethany here. This must be so scary for her. Holy crap. Directly confronting. The very people that are hunting her. Then again, we've done it for so many years that maybe... She's kind of used to it. Even though it's, uh, it's not a life to be envied. Okay, this fourth one here. Completes combo built up by Unforgiving Chain. I just want to make sure I'm using it right. Every basic melee attack that the rogue completes before increases the damage. Okay, so I have to do a bunch of melee stuff first and then do it. Yep, yep, yep. Im Templar Lieutenant. Bethany is gone. Bethany is gone. Is Anders gone? No, Anders is around. He slowed down. Abilene! Oh, I've been slow too. How do I see my status effects? Why am I walking too slow? I'm slow. Oh god. I... Anders, what did you do? Oh, you're okay! You brought a piece of the Fade into this world. I had already forgotten what that feels like. Yeah, why are you okay? And, uh, yeah, Anders, what was going- There was too much happening right now. I thought the Tranquil were cut off from the Fade forever. When you're Tranquil, you never think on your life before. But it's like the Fade itself is inside, Anders. Burning like a sun. Please, kill me before I forget again. I don't know how you brought it back, but it's fading. Oh. Carl, no. What? So whatever Anders did is somehow reversing the process of tranquility? Because this guy's not acting like a tranquil anymore. Maybe we can find a cure. Can you cure a beheading? 
The dreams of tranquil mages are severed. Oh. There is nothing left of them to fix. I would rather die a mage than live as a Templar puppet. This is something that Anders should decide, if you ask me. My sister calls being tranquil a fate worse than death. Give him peace. I got here too late. I'm sorry, Carl. I'm so sorry. Now, it's fading. Why do you look at me like that? Oh. Anders brought a piece of the fade with him. Goodbye. Like he's still this guy is still a tranquil, but for a moment. We should leave before more Templars come. Oh no. I do think that wasn't that clear cut though. I mean we chose to kill him, but that hmm. wasn't normal magic you just did, was it? I this is hard to explain. When I was in Amaranthine. I met a spirit of justice who was trapped outside the Fade. Oh my gosh. We became friends. And he recognized the injustice that mages and Thaders face every day. Oh my gosh. Are, are you saying what I think you're saying? Justice stopped possessing that body, the, the dead rotting body. He's in you? He's in you? Oh my god. Wait, I, uh, I was going to say that... What was I gonna say? Yeah, it's not that clear-cut because that guy just... Even at the very final moments before he died, when he was still feeling emotion, he was saying, Kill me, I don't want to be a Tranquil. But the moment he turns Tranquil, he doesn't actually care about that anymore. So yes, in a way, if you kill him, it's respecting his original wishes. But after he becomes Tranquil, he's still himself and he's saying he would be like, Oh, you know, I don't care about anything because I don't feel... So I don't know, man, maybe we shouldn't have killed him. And that's different than a demon. Just as demons prey on the deadly sins of mankind, there are good spirits who embody our virtues. Spirits of compassion, fortitude, justice. <laughs> they are the Maker's first children, and they have all but given up on us. Well, because they were, <laughs> they were the ones that the Maker didn't like because he made them first and they did nothing with their powers. <sighs> What does this have to do with your eyes glowing? To live outside the Fade, he needed a host. I offered to help him. How did this happen? We were going to work together, bring justice to every child ever ripped away from his mother to be sent to the Circle. But I guess I had too much anger. Once he was inside me, he changed. Does this change work both ways? Because suddenly it makes complete sense to me why you're in Darktown healing people because you seek justice. But now you're saying that justice himself is angry? So, you have this spirit of justice living in your head? It's not like that. He's gone now. He's part of me. It's not like we can have a conversation. I feel his thoughts as my own. Not even the greatest scholar could tell you where I end and he begins. Why did you let him in? How did you even do it? Oh my goodness. But uh, yeah, you know what? Forget about that. I don't care about you. <laughs> Give me the map! Oh. This is obviously difficult for you. I thought I was helping my friend. He would have died, I guess. If that even means anything. And he wanted to help me. He knew what mages have suffered. You tried to help a friend. Surely no harm can come of that? I wish I still had your innocence. There was too much hatred in me. Justice thought he would overcome that. But my anger, when I see Templars now, things that have always outraged me, but I could never do anything about, he comes out. And he is no longer my friend, Justice. He is a force of vengeance, and he has no grasp of mercy. Anders is saying that he has so much anger inside him. Um, our time with him in Awakening, I didn't really get the sense he was that angry of a person. In fact, he was always pretty chipper. And I understand he would, he would 
logically have anger towards things like the Circle or Templars, that intense of anger, that justice is changing. Oh. Oh no, are we doing this again? Are we doing this again? String everyone on? How far can I take it? <laughs> so, that explains your whole sexy, tortured look. Oh my god. <laughs> Perhaps I should check a looking glass more often. I had not thought to ever find a woman who would look past what I just said. My maps are yours, as am I if you wish me to join your expedition. I thought I was done with the Grey Wardens. But if you have any need of me, I will be waiting here. Um, oh, we didn't get to talk more about it. There was more I wanted to say. Mmm. I feel like the Andrews that we knew, he's joining our party, by the way. The one from Awakening, if a pretty woman flirted with him, that would not have been his response. He definitely feels changed. I feel like he would have flirted back in Awakening, but now he's like, oh, a pretty woman is flirting with me. Thank you. I accept your compliments, which might be Justice's influence as well. Oh, wow. I don't... Man, okay. Okay, that's cool. I think I'm gonna just leave two of you in, in the confines of here for now. Hi, Anders. Can we talk about some other stuff? The Tranquil. The Tranquil are the least understood but most visible members of the Circle. Every city of respectable size boasts a Circle of Magi shop, and every one of these shops is run by a Tranquil proprietor. The name is a misnomer, for they are not Tranquil at all. Rather, they are like inanimate objects that speak. If a table wished to sell you- we read this one- an enchanted penknife, it could pass as one of these people. Their eyes are expressionless, their voice is monotone. Incomparable craftsmen they might be, but they are hardly the sort of mages to put ordinary folk at ease. Oh, oh my goodness. Anders. Magic is a tool, same as a bow or a sword. Would you cut off a child's hands to ensure he never wields one in anger? Anders has a rocky history with a circle of magi. Taken from his family when his talents first manifested, Anders was still a boy the first time he ran away from the circle. Recaptured and returned dozens of times, Anders was still considered only a reckless scamp by first enchanter Irving, who thought his easy temper and sense of humor made him no true threat. But during his final escape, Anders befriended the Warden Commander of Amaranthine and accepted the offer to become a Grey Warden. I'm curious what it says here because, uh, hold on. Life as a warden changed him, introducing him to the free fate spirit called Justice, who slowly convinced Anders to, re to turn his attention beyond his personal suffering. Infused with Justice's fervor, Anders offered to merge with the spirit in the name of Mage Freedom, starting them both down a dangerous path that turned the purity of Justice into the unthinking hatred of vengeance. Um, I don't actually remember the epilogue stuff in Awakening that well, but I did go back and look at what I got for Anders because I was thinking, well, he said he ran away, but what did he... Because that's not quite what I remembered from the end of Awakening. And in my ending, it said that he ran away for two months but came back. So I'm not sure if that's... I guess that's just a incongruency. I don't know. And then I don't even know how that would have happened, the whole, like, when when Justice went into him and... Because by the, yeah, the epilogue for Justice, I'll have to look at that one again too, but I'm pretty sure he just faded away and never appeared again. But the epilogues were all kind of strange. I had a friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You can tell me anything. Anything? Be careful what you offer. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know selfish. what Selfish? I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you know, I feel like this is a co serious conversation right now. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know if that's a good or bad thing. He seems to feel like it's a bad thing right now. Because 
it's turning justice into an angry spirit. As an extension, he himself is turning somewhat angry too, or maybe he can't even control it. Like earlier, when his eyes start glowing and stuff, he's just not in control of his body anymore. We can't always predict the outcome of our actions. We can only make them with a true heart. Kind, wise, and beautiful. You must have made a deal with some demons yourself. I'm sorry, I shouldn't presume. I just... We've hardly met and I feel like I know you. Am I making you uncomfortable? Doesn't mean I want you to stop. Whoa. I'll keep that in mind. I warn you though, I'm not a safe man to get involved with. <laughs> I'll hurt you. I'm a bad boy. Watch out. Okay, I don't... I don't want to string him along that much. Why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago, maybe we could have had something. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the Templars. Every mage around us, there's so much suffering. Bethany lives in fear. Anders clearly is very fearful of himself too. You have been a great help. It is very sad to see. Bethany, you are injured. How do I... Let's figure out how to... Um, okay, so we see the injury on this, the main screen here. That's how we see it. The pop-up happened right when the cutscene kicked in. So I don't know how to... Injury kit? Well, how do we... If we just go back home, can we avoid using a kit? Because, I mean, home is pretty much right around the corner. The guards don't get here often enough. Hmm. What should we do next? Should we go back home first? Enemies among us. When did I get this? Just randomly. Varric sources says that a woman by the name of Maka, Macha, has been desperately seeking a particular Templar. She is at the Chantry, outside the Chantry during the day. Okay, so this one's doable. These ones, some of them might not be. Oh, I can bring in the maps to Bartrand. Sure. Companions. Fenris recruited. Well, this is done, isn't it? Talk to Varric in Lowtown's Hangman Pub. Oh, these are like their friendship quests, I guess. Fenris says he's helping me, but I guess maybe we want to do more for him. Should we leave the city? feel like... I mean, there's still tons of stuff to do around the city, but at this point, we're leaving Sebastian out to rot. <laughs> he's just been sitting outside waiting for me. Oh! Oh, Sebastian is a DLC thingy? Like, premium content? Okay, maybe that's why it feels so removed. Alright. No, for this one, we need to go to the docks at night first. And then go outside. Sundermound, Wounded Coast, Mark of the Assassin. Remember the incident at Chateau Hine? No. <laughs> no! A memento of the past. Return home to reminisce about a harrowing experience. Okay, let's return home and see if it heals my injuries first. Does that mean that Anders is gonna randomly... Mm, I don't know much about him right now. Is he gonna randomly do something that's really unexpected at the flip of a switch? Because his personality is sort of made up of two different components right now. I don't know. Like he says, he doesn't know where he ends. Uh, he ends and justice begins. Nothing yet. Uh, are you healed? I can't tell. I hope Mother convinces the Viscount to give us the estate. Oh, the harrowing experience might be the DLC. Never mind. Assassin. Oh, okay, so these are both DLCs. But Sebastian, I can do Sebastian now. I just want to get out of the city a little bit too because we haven't been out yet. Do we need to do any of that? I try! 
Keep it down, dog. He's not barking! You shut your mouth! All that noisy dog breath, day in, day out, make him stop. Hey. Well, pardon my dog for breathing. If you think you can stop him, be my guest. No, he might be sad. <laughs> there, isn't that annoying? <laughs> ah, blight take you. Don't be mean to my dog. Your mother's busy hmm. fighting to the Viscount. Okay. If we want to go see Sebastian, kind of want to see how Aveline reacts to something like that. Let's see. Anders. Let's see, let's see. Who should I bring? Two warriors and a mage like that? We could do that. Varric. Hold up. So let's go to... Oh, Sebastian's thing. We'll go outside later, but we'll start here. At the docks. At night. These streets should be safe at night. Care to help out with that? Yeah, yeah. Redwater Raider. Don't even know who the Redwaters are. Go right, Aveline. Yeah, Bethany, just stay in the comforts of the steps in the back there. Good. Nice to have two warriors around, more people to tank and all that. Are people literally dropping in from the sky? Are you serious? <laughs> Damn, man, they keep just, they just come in waves. Fenris, doing all right? Someone's always trying to claim the streets. If you make them safe to travel at night, someone will reward you. How does one do that? I mean, I'd love to, and I'd also love to just stop getting attacked in general. Because if we go around the city often, this is going to happen like 20 million times. <laughs> Duty. Members of the Flint Mercenary Company search the docks to find Flint Company mercenaries. They are right here! Okay, let's focus on Fenris a little bit. Everyone's dashing all around in Dragon Age 2. I kind of like it. it, makes everything seem more dynamic. But everyone feels like a thief or a rogue. Okay, we killed them all. Was that a good thing? All set. Raider Mall. Anybody have any clues? Updated. The Flint Company mercenaries in Kirkwall have been dealt with. Oh, we just have to deal with them. That's it. It's not like we're trying to find a clue to find where the other ones are. They're just dead. Okay. I don't think we've been here in the docks before, have we? Harbor Master's office. No, we missed this before. What is this? This leads... Oh, this goes back to Darktown. Uh, wait, no, this is a new place. Okay, keep looking then. It looks like Darktown. And there's people here, very casually. Watch your step. Oh, everyone just... Damn, they just went right past it. Bony Lems wears Coterie Rogue. Okay, Coterie Rogue. Oh! They're disappearing left and right. Damn! 
Okay, I want to stay around Bethany to make sure she doesn't get attacked. She's kind of fragile. Bethany, you might want to heal me up, if that's okay. Using potion. Okay, she healed me, I think. Or maybe it was the potion? I can't tell. Oh, damn! He can't use potions! That's, that's illegal! I can do that, you can't. Bethany, you need to heal. I need to set a... Probably an AI tactic to make it so that... Oh, there's an alchemist here, no wonder. So that they heal when they're low on health. Does that still exist here? We'll figure it out. Oh! Oh, what the? Oh. You all right, Bonnie Lem? You all right? Want the best? Take it from the worst. Then sell to specialists like you. Always willing to give a discount to the people who saved my skin. I'm asking if you're all right. Your answer should be yes or no. <laughs> not a whole bunch of... Not that. Thud Pucker's Fist. Staff of the Primal Order. Are any of these Maul's shield... Well, for the warrior, maybe, but not this warrior, because he's two-handed. Yeah, I don't know about all this. I'll sell the junk at least, I guess. I'm getting a little bit full. Okay, wow! Okay, we have plenty of space then. Okay, so this... Hold up. The only... Again, the only person I have to care about... The armor for is me. It's just me. So I compare it for myself. If it sucks, I can immediately junk it. If I can't even wear it, then there's no point in thinking about it, right? This one we could put I mean, I'm never gonna put stuff into strength though. So I guess that's a no. That is also a no. But for weapons, we can change the maul. Oh, this is two-handed. This might be better for you, but your sword is probably unique. See how that goes for now? Lethendrilus. This one's better, for sure. And then, yeah, I don't know about this one. You don't even have any fire <laughs> attacks right now. Shield... Sir Wesley's shield. Again, something else that we can't just take away. Because that's not junk. That ain't junk. Okay, we saved the shopkeeper. You're welcome. Oh, this is where we... Where, where did we come from? We came from that. Somewhere around here. Trap. Oh my goodness. Don't walk, guys. Oh, I see somebody fell victim already. Wait, what? Oh, did turning that one also turn the other one? I guess so. <laughs> I just... Next to a pile of bones! Okay. Hey! Death root. Again. It's just a random passageway here. On your gun. Where are we gonna end up? Get the freaking alchemist. He's staying in the back trying to pretend to be doing nothing, too. None of that. But these guys are actually taking down our health quite a bit. You can see the health has been going down quite a bit in these last few battles. Rogue's Boots. Uh, yeah, I guess it's better. I guess. Okie dokie. 
Did I do that? Belt? It's just the passageway. Where does it go? The very end. Are you guys beggars? Docks. Oh! From from one end of the docks to another end? Maybe? Looks like it. <laughs> the way they drop in from the sky. Let's this. Zero discretion. Don't touch Aveline! Okay, she is a tank, but... Doesn't mean she can't tank everything. Bethany! Don't touch my sister! I feel so protective of Bethany already, especially since we lost Carver. He's my little sister! My cinnamon roll sister. Too good and pure for this world? So pure! My game just crashed. At least Dragon Age 2 autosaves pretty often. That's one good thing. Nice shot, whoever that was. Alright, let's get this over with quickly. I should try Bethany more. She's the mage here. But I always feel like mages are the hardest to control. Probably a misconception, I just arbitrarily think that. Oh god. I'm not even walking behind people all the time either, aside from backstab. I guess backstab is a way for me to get behind people. Okay, Bethany is getting... Don't touch her, I swear. I told you! Don't touch my baby sister! I will end you personally! Rest and be grateful. We good? Thank you. Who the heck are the Red Waters? Another camp of mercenaries around here? I suppose so. Another place that we haven't been to before? Well, at nighttime, things are all a little bit different. Okay, so cool. We've been here, and we got the... These warehouses are occasionally used to store things. But not just for clandestine meetings. You remind me of Severin already! <laughs> okay, let's find a way to get out of here, and then... We'll move on to the next location for Sebastian's thingy. Ooh. You want to talk? Bugger off. Bugger off. I guess not. They're here, but they don't want to do anything. Okay. Sure, it is currently nighttime. Let's see what world the world looks like outside at large. The Bone Pit. Sunder Mount. Oh, we have Aveline's thing here, too. Sunder Mount Ambush Site. Magistrate's Orders. Do... Okay, go to the Wounded Coast first, then. Do we need to bring Sebastian with us, or... No, he's paying us. He's paying us. He's not doing it himself. But we might find him here anyway. Because why wouldn't we? Do you ever miss Tavinta? I was a slave. Still, it was your home, right? Mm. The only one you remember. Does it ever feel strange not to be there? Sometimes. That does not mean I would go back. The concept of home. Something Bethany yearns for. Something Fenris would yearn for as well. Like an actual one and not a slave one. There is something... Here. Spindleweed. It is an old country saying that the spindleweed grows best for the sorrowful. Verdant spindleweed in a household's garden has often brought neighbors offering consolation, usually without even asking what might be wrong. 
This originates from the plant's use as a seasoning for dishes meant to speed the recovery of the infirm. A person who grows much of it is likely caring for the fatally ill. Ooh. Bit of an ominous plant. Flame Company? We're in the right place. Just lure them back. Lure them back a little bit. Okay, that's a lot of them. Cone of Cold? You've never done Cone of Cold. It doesn't work quite the same way as before, I don't think. You heal yourself. You should stand back. Stand back a little bit. Oh! Oh! Oh, what the? Oh, I accidentally moved away from Bethany and then the next thing I knew she pa What? That was fast. I didn't even see what happened. It just sort of happened. I need to work on dodging. Bethany, she is... fragile. Now that we're out in the open... Megan Vale's Locket. Ooh, this is somebody... This is Sebastian's family member. How is your health? 100. Everybody else's health. 130, 170, 180. No wonder. If you're not gonna get any constitution, should I bump it up a little bit? It just feels kind of like, I mean, every time we bump it up, we only do it by five. It feels like it's kind of crappy. But we have to, though, if she's dying that easily. And then maybe some of her willpower as well. Any more for healing? Heroic Aura. Attack, defense. Paralyze enemies. That'll make her a good controlling person. You? Keep going with the cunning. I don't ever want to see a situation where a lock was unable to be picked by us. I don't ever want to see that. Charge. Cover more ground. Yeah, this works better if I pay more attention to how the an the enemies are laid out, and then I go bulldozing in a line. Improved formula, miasmic flasks can be used more frequently, sure. Evelyn, just keep going. I think you're pretty okay for now. Vanguard. Scatter! Clears a forward arc, throwing enemies back. Seems good to me. And we'll just have a quick look at the tactics here. Oh, no, 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 no. No wonder. You should be more defensive, probably. Wait, the behavior versus presets? I feel like I don't... I don't really know the difference. Yeah, okay, hold on. So, can we... Solve? Wait. Can I take this away? Hold up. Un unclick it. Unclick! Right, so right now she's set to, if she's below 50, she's healing herself. If an al- this should be higher! This should be the first one! And this should be the second one, even though this might be want to be 50 as well, but we'll just test that and then we'll unclick that one or... Cone of Cold. Haven't really seen her do it. Yeah, that's that's okay for now. How do I save this? Oh, there's only one custom preset now. We can't have more. That's a bit of a shame. Tank. Aggressive. Yeah, Bethany doesn't need to be aggressive. We'll see how that goes, but I feel like everyone else should take a potion on their own too. Let's do that. If self is below... Let's say 25. Use a health potion. Because I can't be babysitting all of you all the time. Oh! Oh, we have a lot of slots. That's good. But if I do a custom one, it means that if they get a new ability, it's probably not going to update, right? So that's the one bad thing. 
We'll see. We haven't really used potions at all. We can use stamina drafts as well. I haven't really used those. The only way to save is if we click on back. <laughs> That's a little bit... Yeah, I uh, I have heard that apparently the development cycle for Dragon Age 2 was pretty short. They didn't get much time to work on it. So it does show in the little things. It's often the little things that turn a game from a great game, or a good game to a great game, and it does feel like a lot of little things are lacking here and there. It's okay though, I mean, I'm still enjoying it very much right now, if you're wondering. Let me have a look at that. Oh. Codex updated, get the hell out of here. Don't need that one. Done. That is the second camp. I thought Sebastian- oh, there might be more. Or- no, 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 we gotta go to Sundra Mountain now. Wow, that was surprisingly fast, actually. Pretty sure there was more going on here. I saw an exclamation mark in the distance. Yep. Elfroot! Elfroot was first used by the elves of Arlethon, hence the name. The root gave their medicines particular efficacy. So when the Imperium conquered the Elves, the Magisters adopted its use and its popularity spread to all corners of the Empire. Elf root is a hardy plant with large green leaves that grow wild in many places. It's so common that it tends to show up in most gardens and fields, almost like a weed. Unlike a weed, however, most people appreciate having access to the wonderful little plant. The roots can be used with very little preparation. Rubbing some of the juice on a wound, for example, will speed up healing and numb pain. And chewing on a slice of root, treats minor ailments like indigestion, flatulence, and hoarse throats. <laughs> there are several varieties, but the most useful for herbalists are the bitter, gossamer, and the royal elf roots. It's a small thing, but elf root is probably the most well-known plant within Thetas, and it's because it was popularized by the Tevinter Magisters and the Arlathon elves and all that. Little things here and there. Oh my god. Like, things don't become the predominantly used thing for no reason. Even stuff like the most popular plant. Poisonous spider? That's a freak ton of people! Why are the bandits working with the spiders? Oh my god. Yo. Are you gonna be okay, Bethany? Sorry, I kind of dragged everyone into the fray here. You okay, Bethany? Everyone's... Yeah, the tactics don't really say that everyone's attacking the same thing. And Bethany's actually injured right now. I think immediately it's showing that things are going better than before, though. Oh, but I think people are using health potions. I just saw Fenris use one. That's good. These guys are a little stronger. Everyone alright? There's a dead messenger here. For some reason, the bandits were working with the poisonous spiders. <laughs> Grey Warden documents! Silver right threaded gloves. Avernus's experimental draft. The the guy from the Sophia Dryden thing? Attribute points plus two. Messages for the wardens. Hmm. They'd probably pay to have them returned. Take the first boat from Amaranthine to Kirkwall, then proceed with all haste to Weishaupt Fortress. If the roads prove too perilous or blocked, our agent in Kirkwall can assist. Find the dead drop located in an alleyway near the low town foundries during daylight hours. Protect the letters at all costs. Warden Commander Ferelden. Which is, at this point, is it still well in Skuzlin? I don't think so. The limitations put upon my research have greatly hampered progress. With just a few subjects, I could test certain critical hypotheses. However, 
The information sent about the architect has proven invaluable to my efforts, and I am pleased to report limited success. As the architect surmised, considerable untapped power exists within Grey Warden blood. When properly prepared, its effects can be remarkable. But my research has also revealed some alarming implications, which I've attached in the old Akathan cipher. I urge you to send this to the First Warden at once. I will conduct further tests as I'm able. My documentation is very thorough. If time finally claims me, others may follow in my footsteps. Avernus. Mmm, they've been working together with the Architect. That's good to see, I think. Can I drink it right now? How do I drink it? Whoever consumes this elixir. How do I consume this elixir? Oh. Did I consume it? I think so. Sweet. Pump it into cunning right away. <laughs> yeah, my health, I might need to worry about that a little bit too. Okay, you're a warrior. Am I just gonna pump in strength for you then? For now? Whirlwind cuts through foes, hitting all targets with a melee range with a single sweeping arc. Okay, so the... who do I bring the letter to? Deliver Grey Warden letters to a dead drop near the foundries in Lowtown. Okay. The Warden Commander of Ferelden at this point might be... it might still be me. The other me? Could be. What? Who's here? What the hell? Whoa! Where'd you all come from? Should I attack you? You sp extra Scroll, we deliver it back. Ah! 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 I'll cut you out Get the hell out of here. Ha! Let's finish this! Hey, you a One more yeah. vanquished. Ah! Let me try rushing. Ah! Oh, I only got one dude. I was gonna leave, but then these guys came out of nowhere. How about you? You're going to regret this. Okay, thank you. See, so we're here for the scrolls too. Ship the serpent statuette. Well, we'll deliver them once we go back then. 